Okay, uh, let's look at problem two. Problem two says bedding attitude below an angular unconformity is this one and above the angular unconformity is this one. Okay. The the dip of the bedding are different. It means we had one tectonic phase, okay, tilted this bedding, and then there is unconformity, flat horizon or you no know, flat layers deposit on top of that and then Due to the second phase of tectonic, it gained a little of uh, strike and dip. So what, what we're going to do, we're going to remove this effect from this one. Uh, okay, here I have my stair unit. I will make some note for myself. The above, okay, below unconformity, the beddings are north. 15 east, 58 north w, and above unconformity, which I'm showing with A, is N 15E, 23NW. Okay. This is my N. W E and fifteen E fifteen degrees is the strike. You you can't strike along the primitive circle. This is ten degrees, fifteen degrees. Okay. And the bedding is dipping towards northwest. Indeed, if this is my bedding, this is a vertical bed. The strike is 15 and is dipping 58 degrees towards northwest. So I have north 15 east. I rotate my vellum paper and you place north 15 east along the north south great circle and you count 58 degrees okay from the northwest this is northwest and um, for counting 58 degrees you should count along the west east line because we are using the stay unit as a protractor that's why i need to count along this line so 58 degrees 10 20 30 40 50 this is 58 okay you trace that great circle And here I'm gonna mention this is indeed is B. 40A again the strike is N15E and the dip is 23 degrees. <clears throat> Let's do it again. This is N15E and 23 northwest, the same thing. 10, 20. 23 the strike of a and b is exactly the same but the deep angle is different okay this is again a Let's put here A and B. So we needed also have a uh, the pole of the beddings. Okay, this is twenty three, and twenty three. Either you count ninety degrees off from the great circle, from the trace that you draw, or you can go from the center and count twenty three degrees. The same thing as this. Which one you like? Which one you prefer? So I'm gonna go 23 degrees. Let's say do a 90 degrees off from this. Okay, seven degrees, 17, 27, 37, 47, 57, 67, 77, 87, and 90. Okay, I put the 
dot and this is indeed is a pole of the A, right? I can name it P A. The other one, since both of them have the same strike, I can keep my <coughs> vellum paper as it is and I should count 50 de 58 degrees off from the center or I can count 90 degrees off from the great circle. This is 2 degrees, 12, 22, 32, 42, 52, 62, 72, 82, and this is 92, 2 degrees back. This is P for the units, the pole of the units below the unconformity. So I have my poles and the traces. So the question asked me, what was the attitude of the bedding below the unconformity after the first phase of tectonic? So um, we have two phases of the tectonic because the unit below and above has a different dip and strike. For in this example, the strike is the same, but in the others might be different. So what you do is, we know after a between the first phase and the second phase, okay, the unit above the unconformity should be flat. So if the unit is flat, then the trace, okay, it will plot it along the primitive circle, on the primitive circle, and the pole should be in the center. So if I want to tilt back both layers, okay, until the above bedding is just flat, then I need to move this both of the pole at the same direction for the same angle size. Okay, This one is 23, right? You move 23 degrees this one to the center and you move this one 23 degrees towards the same direction. Okay, from here let's say 8 degrees, 18 20, 22, 23. I'm going to show this one with the triangle. Okay, so this is the pole. This is the pole of the below unconformity, which I'm showing with the B prime. And if we want to read the attitude of the bedding from the pole, you count 90 degrees, and that would be your. Um, attitude of bedding after first first tectonic phase. This is let's say 5 degrees, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85 and 90. I'm gonna show this one with the dash line. Okay, so what is the attitude of the this dash line? Strike didn't change, it's north 15 east, and the dip indeed is 10, 20, 30, 35 from northwest. Okay, so the attitude of the let's say I'm gonna call after first tectonic phase, I'm gonna call it B prime, and that one is equal. Okay, north 15 east, 35 northwest. Okay, that's it.